What's good YouTube, Underworld6667 here coming at you, opening a box of Cosmo Blazer. Uh, as always, we're gonna give away a free pack of Cosmo Blazer to this person just here below. If you'd like to win a pack of Cosmo Blazer, all you need to do is, in the comment section down below, tell us what your favorite card is out of Cosmo Blazer. Opening up the first box. As always, we are doing this box opening at Teddy and Me in the North area in Brampton, in Brampton Shoppers World. If you'd like to purchase any Cosmo Blazer stuff, all you need to do is go to Teddy and Me North or South to open up your packs of Cosmo Blazer. And the first card is Blackwing Gladius, the Midnight Sun, and pretty much nothing else. <laughs> Next card is Hazy Flame, Pyrethan, 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 and a whole bunch of other junk. So far, no hollows. Yes, and the first ultimate rare, Mermail Abyss Mermail Abyss If you are looking for any of these cards, all you need to do is PM me. And I will be happy to trade or sell them. Unless I get rid of them today. The next one is Hyper Ancient Shark Mega Loden. And pretty much nothing else. A couple of the uh, Fire Fist cards, but only common so far. One good thing about the set is they didn't make every single Fire Fist card way unattainable. Hence the hollow that we just pulled out. First one is Ultimate Fire Formation Seto, uh, which is just the rare. And mind the retards who are making so much fucking noise. And of course, you got Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Swallow. You swallow. Oh my goodness, you're so clever. <laughs> and the next lovely pack, we've got our Heraldic Beast Twin-Headed Eagle, and of course the most popular card in the set, Crimson Sunbird. I'm not entirely sure why they actually put that in the set, but you know, can't win them all. This guy's gonna hit the camera with his bag. Oh no, he's a brilliant genius. Make, comment, and subscribe. All right, Heraldic Beast Leo, the rare. The next one, Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Gorilla. Good luck on your pulls. Thanks, close the door. The next one, sucking every little bit of juice out of that one is Gagaga -ga -ga Draw. Gagaga -ga -ga Draw, yet another hollow. This one is super. The next one is an ultimate, I can see it. It is, what the heck does it say? Artorigus, King of the Noble Knights. That looks actually really sickly cool. Wondering if I could get that. I'm not at home, so I don't have my proper lighting system, but yeah, that looks sickly cool right there. He does look awesome. Moving onwards. So, so far we've actually pulled quite a number of hollows out of, I believe, what is the right side. Another Synchro there, and a Crimson Sunbird. Very popular card. Very expensive. Not expensive at all. And the last pack on the right hand side does not pull us a hollow, but does pull us a synchro right there. Once again, at the very end of this video, we will be going through all of the hollows. Fool of prophecy. Fool of prophecy. I'm guaranteeing somebody's gonna collect these because it's a fool of prophecy. And the next one. Close the bag, or close the door. Don't be stupid. I feel like masturbating in this room. Close the door! Ah! Okay. Sounds like a good thing. 
Yes, Bonefire Colossus. That is the secret rare that we pulled out of this box. Bonefire Colossus. Retard. I hope he watches this video. Haha, <laughs> that's when I came in. And then as soon as he leaves, I call him a retard. And he's like, oh, that's so sad. Moron. This one's pulling nothing. Some Blackwing stuff. Once again, all the commons, hollows, rares in any of these videos are for trade or for purchase. I'm not really looking much to trade unless you have some new stuff. And I'm mainly looking for things like this. The Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Dragon. That's what I'm looking for. These Brotherhood cards so I can actually play them. Let me see if I can make the stack a little better. So we still are looking for an Ultra, which we will be pulling fairly shortly, I'm hoping. Probably gonna be the last pack just because this is what I like about opening, uh, oh, Brotherhood of the Fire Fist, Lion Emperor. That is a good card. It is a super. One thing I like about opening boxes rather than tins is there is a, a sense of order. You know what you're going to be pulling. You know you're going to pull, like, two ultimate, or ultra rares, hence why I just pulled the breakthrough. And, if, as always, you know, you're going to pull an ultimate, you're going to pull a secret, and that kind of thing. Boxes like this are a lot better to buy than tins, even though the tins have sometimes guaranteed money. Um, in, the, in the case of Hanzo tins, yeah, that was guaranteed money. You should obviously buy those ones. But uh, the other tins and that kind of thing, not so much. You'll be lucky to make your money back on a Prophecy Destroyer tin, whereas the Hanzo tins for $15 uh, at some of the um, Walmarts, it was guaranteed money. Guaranteed money. And this is the last pack, and we pull nothing. Once again, let's go through what we pulled today. I'll focus in here. First one is our breakthrough. Next one, our Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Lion Emperor. Next one, our Fire Fist Dragon. The next one, Bonfire Colossus. That is our secret rare that we pulled. Fool of Prophecy. Artorigus, King of the Noble Knights. Ga 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 Draw. Brotherhood of Fire Fist, Swallow. And Mermail Abyss, Tius. Very good pulls. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you tune in to our further episodes where we will continue to open boxes of Cosmo Blazer. Don't make those binder blunders.